Vibe coding has completely fixed my imposter syndrome. Not because I'm a vibe coder, but the opposite. I used to be like, yeah, I'm a software engineer, but I can't really ever remember when the memory gets allocated to the heap versus the stack. Now I have guys in sales DMing me a link to localhost 3000, asking me why they're getting a null pointer exception in their JavaScript code, which is a language that doesn't even have pointers. Where the f did you find a pointer, Steve? And the worst thing is these guys don't even have imposter syndrome. And listen, I wouldn't wish imposter syndrome on anyone, but if you're actually an imposter, it's not a syndrome. And yes, you can call yourself a vibe coder if you want. But the other day I was sitting next to this guy on the plane and he asked me, oh, what do you do for work? You're a software engineer? Me too. But when the plane went up and we lost Wi-Fi and the man couldn't ask ChatGPT to fix his code anymore, he tried to fix it himself by inserting a semicolon into the middle of a line of code. And I'm watching him run it over and over and get the same error every time. Look, jokes aside, whether or not this is a real story or not, I, I think the, the base message here is, is true. Look, I was an engineer, I was an engineer before AI, uh, front end development, back end development, you name it. With AI, your skill level instantly jumps up way higher, right? And it's not necessarily because it does all the work for you, it's just because if you know what the end product looks like, if you know the problem that you're trying to solve, it becomes much easier to actually paint the syntax onto the screen, okay? And this is true for people trying to learn, people trying to break into the industry, right? If you're trying to land that remote six figure tech salary, right? Learning to code is a lot easier than it used to be.